Hello again everyone and welcome back to the Adventure Chapter channel where we will be covering our second day on the Tour de Mont Blanc. This day we covered from La Huches to Les Contaminés a distance of ten and a half miles. Come along with us on our journey. In La Huches we stayed in Hotel Du Bois. It was a quaint chalet type hotel. It was very nice and clean though. Uh, one tidbit of information that I'd like to share is on trail, none of the hotels or the refugios have air conditioning. So we very quickly learned to leave a window open and on some nights we even slept with our patio door open, which allowed plenty of cool air to come in so that we could rest. Our room didn't have a very good view but the courtyard had a great view of the Mont Blanc Massif. After another nice buffet breakfast, we headed out from Hotel Du Bois and joined the trail that passes right through the town of La Huches on our way to the Bellevue Cable Car Station. It was 8 o'clock in the morning, so we got to hear the church bells ringing in the town of La Huches as we walked toward the cable car station. We had made the decision to use the cable car rather than climbing the mountain, and then we would join the TMB at Col de Vosa. We had also made the decision not to take the harder variant up to Col de Tricourt under the Binassi Glacier. We'd had a tough day the day before, and so we had decided to save our feet a little bit, and we also had a 13-mile day coming up the next day so we decided to just enjoy the valley views. They were excellent views, and so it was still a good day. We left the Bellevue cable car station on a short connecting trail to join the TMB route. This route would take us by the old Bellevue Hotel. We understand it's been closed for some time. The connecting trail also took us by the TMB Cog Railway. One of these old nostalgic trains passed as we were walking through. These trains were named after the owner's daughters back in the 1950s. If you look closely, this old train's name is Jean. As we left Col de Vosa on the regular TMB route, I couldn't help but think about how different this day was than the day before. The trail was not near as challenging, but there were still some nice views. There would be several challenging days of hiking to come, but today we were just enjoying the view. Our water strategy on the TMB was to carry two one liter bottles each and fill as often as we could. On this day, water was very plentiful, flowing into these troughs in most of the villages. In the higher coals or mountain tops, water was less plentiful, so we made sure our water bottles were filled as we pulled into the higher elevations. We never drank from a stream and we did not carry a water filter, although a straw type emergency filter would not have been a bad idea.
We had purchased our lunch from Hotel Du Bois in Les Hooches, so in the afternoon we found us a shady place along the trail to enjoy it. Our lunch consisted of a six-inch ham and cheese on fresh baked bread, chips, apple, and a protein bar. afternoon of hiking, we arrived at our hotel, Hotel Gia Soleil. This was a nice family-run hotel and we were looking forward to staying there. Although we had hiked ten and a half miles, we arrived just a little bit early and so we had the opportunity to sit in the shade in their courtyard and just have a nice little rest until our room was made ready. Once again, we found that we had a nice, clean, comfortable room, and it wasn't long before it was time for dinner. We enjoyed dinner at GSLA and also began to make acquaintances with people that were on the same hiking schedule that we were. These acquaintances would become friendships over the next several days. As we took our evening walk, we began to note that the setting sun was making the view above the hotel even more lovely than it had been earlier in the day. This brought day two to a close. 